There are two big reasons why Australia is at the back of the pack when it comes to the energy efficiency story. The first is that government just hasn't been focused on it. There's another reason that we're at the back of the pack when it comes to energy efficiency and it makes sense. Energy has traditionally been pretty cheap in Australia. So if you're a business looking at investing scarce time and resources, it's made sense to invest in other areas. Now that's changing as energy costs rise and businesses are looking for a way to strategically manage their energy costs. We've seen a continual uh, increase in both power, electricity and gas prices in that last three years. Our productivity and our growth in the business has grown, yes, but the power cost has exponentially just gone way much further than that. We've realised um, quite some time ago that we have to do something about that. Electricity costs are one of the uh, major expenses for any business, but especially in regional locations, uh, behind labour of course. And it was always a, f a key focus point for Raymond and Trudy in all our meetings that we, you know, they always had their electricity bill on the table so we could just see what it was actually costing them. And we're talking big numbers, so any way that they could uh, help minimise or reduce those um, was obviously a key focus for them. The reality is um, part of the equipment that we currently use, because we have welders running all day, we have lights running all day, um, the equipment was where we had to find that solution and, and um, I'm a regular of going to the international fairs where they have all that equipment there and been watching that for years and that's where, we, where we've come to that realisation where the, the, the equipment was better. We had the opportunity to um, expand our business and, and we took that opportunity then to, to go for the more energy efficient equipment. What we find is particularly manufacturers that run the ruler over their energy usage and then put in place strategies to bring it down also have other benefits in terms of resource efficiency and process efficiency because they're all part of the same story. And of course, companies more and more are focused on uh, their corporate social responsibility, their carbon footprint, and energy efficiency is one of the no-brainer measures that has a, a business benefit as well as a environmental benefit. The um, machinery was running 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We couldn't increase our turnover because we had no capacity to do any more work. So we found that we had to do something. We could have just replaced what we had and be energy efficient, uh, a new machine but we weren't going to really achieve anything, so we needed to get the two machines, which obviously our consumption of energy would go up, so we needed to be more efficient in the way we did it. I think as a business, you can do a lot for climate change and you have like the ability to sort of invest in energy efficiency, and I think that's what Mum and Pa have done here. What that project gave us was the opportunity to have a good look at ourselves and where that energy was being consumed within the factory. So we did a major clean up of all our switchboards, all our wiring, where the peak demand was, the timings of it and everything else. Um, and in that same scenario where we've combined that whole project of upgrading the equipment, we've upgraded where it came from as well. So that was part of that 36% saving with a 30% more contact hours. So we're doing more with less power for sure. Obviously, leading businesses are transforming the way that they deal with energy. They're running the ruler over their in internal energy use and they're making in really smart investments, whether it's be in renewables or energy efficiency. Um, they're taking control of their energy story and companies are looking at some of these leading businesses that are getting uh, a lot of media coverage and going, well, are we on top of this? They're starting to ask the questions internally. Now, I see that as a, an incredibly positive thing because these leaders are showing the way and they're trailblazing towards a uh, more efficient, uh, more productive uh, and lower carbon economy.